PEI's Lenny Wheeler is hoping a new reality TV show will help him break into the big leagues of mixed martial arts. Wheeler is just back from Japan where he filmed the first five episodes of a television series called Fight Exchange 2. Now, on the show, four fighters from Canada paired up with four competitors from Japan, and they live together, they train together, and then fight, all with the TV cameras rolling. Wheeler was a last-minute replacement when one of the Canadians couldn't make the trip. Island Morning's Nancy Russell spoke with Lenny Wheeler about his experience and what he hopes it will mean for his career. This is the story of six mixed martial artists. This is a clip from season one of Fight Exchange. In the first season, the Canadians were paired up with fighters from Brazil. In Japan, the format was the same. As the cameras rolled, the mixed martial arts competitors lived together and trained together. Lenny Wheeler was a last minute addition to the cast. At first, I didn't even know it was a TV show. It was just, I thought it was just a fight. The guy got injured that was supposed to go and I took his place. First of all, I hurt my thumb really bad the first day training, so I was not really able to train. One of the Japanese fighters went for a takedown, and I was trying to tell him that like we were coming out of the mats and we were going to land on the concrete. Maybe the language barrier, but he didn't kind of listen, and he just kept running me, and I got off balance, and I fell and popped my thumb. Your storyline turned into, whether you intended it or not, to be kind of overcoming adversity? Yeah, pretty much. I had to overcome the thumb train basically what I could and then the weight cut was pretty dramatic. What do you use for shaving cream? Just soap. Soap? Okay. <laughs> fresh haircut and a fresh shave. Grind is real bro. I'll make weight but I won't enjoy it. <laughs> I deplete my food like almost down to zero food and deplete my water down to zero and then sit in a sauna until I lose all the weight. <laughs> 30 pounds. Yeah, 30 pounds. I'm not really sure how much of it's going to be shown on TV because I actually showed up to weigh-ins. I was wearing a sauna suit and I was naked underneath. What were you going through physically at that point? Uh, It was really hard. I cut 14 pounds Thursday night and then Friday I woke up and I cut 10 and I was still two pounds over so we took a cab. It was like an hour drive and we blasted the heat the whole hour drive and I was completely depleted, had no water in me. And then I got there, I still missed weight by a pound, and I had to ride a bike for an hour straight with like 15 sweaters on me. It was, it was horrible. The producer of the show was actually like yelling at the commission. He was like, this guy's gonna die. You want him to die for one pound? Just let him fight. And, and yeah, they were all like pretty worried about me. As part of the TV show, Lenny Wheeler and the other Canadians also got to experience Japanese culture including hiking up into the mountains to train with a karate master. So yeah, there's a waterfall, and then it was like a nice river, like we're way up in a mountain, like I mean really high. Meditate daily, but meditating out in nature is a whole another experience, man, especially with this waterfall. Wheeler says having the cameras there added to the challenge of preparing for the big fight. I didn't expect it to be so hard. We were training every night at 8, but we'd have to leave at 5 because the cameras had to set up, so it would be like 5 all the way till midnight before we got in, and we'd only train for two hours, so it was pretty exhausting. What other things did you do for the TV show? Yeah, we, like, explored Japan. We explored, like, some outdoor stuff. Like, I can't tell too much, you know? And we trained with, like, ex-UFC fighters. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Grand is real. TJ, he's 17 years old. He had to go to Japan because Canada won't let him fight pro. He's a character on the show with us. And then there's Lindsay Garbat. She was a ex-pro boxer. And that's Aaron right here. He's the producer of the show. So obviously you learned a lot about reality TV through this too. Yeah, mostly that it's not very reality. <laughs> but no, it's cool. It's kind of like a hurry up and wait kind of thing. It's a little bit stressful that way. Yeah, this is at way ends. I'm 145 here. And then there was the fight. Oh, it was pretty big. Like, I didn't even look him up, you know. And then I found out, yeah, he was fifth ranked in Japan. And he was like, he had like 17 fights already. And I was like, okay, well, it's going to be good. (laughs) Can you tell me how the fight went? Yeah, I, I knocked him out in 18 seconds. What was that like, 18 seconds? It's so bittersweet because I wanted to, like, fight longer and get experience. But it was pretty sweet, too, like, to knock a guy out like that and just... 
show the Japan people like what Canada is all about. <laughs> Now Lenny Wheeler is hoping to use his appearance on Fight Exchange 2 to land a spot in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Well, I'm trying out for the Ultimate Fighter in Vegas on April 27th, so I'm hoping that because I've just came off a TV show that they'd recognize that and put me on this other TV show. They take 16 people and put them in a house together. They put alcohol in the house. They've put a lot of stuff in the house that they shouldn't. They make a bunch of guys that are supposed to fight each other live together. So it's a lot of drama. It sounds like Big Brother, but with MMA thrown in. Is that a fair <laughs> description? Pretty much, yeah. And if you lose a fight, you're out of the tournament, but you stay and you help everybody else. But if you win, you have to fight like, I think four times in five weeks. So it's pretty intense. And what would it mean to be on this UFC TV show? Well, then you're signed by the UFC, so and then I am living the dream that I've been trying to live for nine years now. You also have a second part to Fight Exchange. Tell me about the second part. So the second part is going to be taking place down in London, Ontario. There'll be four guys coming down from Japan, and we're all going to train on adrenaline. I'm going to live in a house with them and, I guess, help them because they don't really speak English. And then they're going to all fight in Canada. Same guy that hurt my thumb, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> what is it going to be like when your family and friends here on PEI get to see the TV show? Oh, I'm pretty excited for that. Like, I don't want my mom to see the weight cut because she'll, she'll go crazy every time I have to go fight now because it was pretty extreme. But I'm excited for my friends to see and my family to see because I only fought twice on the East Coast, so they have never really seen it. I, like the whole time, even like on the stuff that was hard for us and when we were dieting and we were cranky and we had to do things that we didn't want to do, I, was, I always had that positive thing in my head like, this is crazy, like I'm in Japan. Oh, nothing but good stuff, yeah. For Island Morning, I'm Nancy Russell in Charlottetown.